Mother Tongue, Other Tongue is, seems to me to be a really fantastic venture. It allows uh, young people to express themselves in their own tongue and to uh, remember the value of their own tongue. Um, it can be very liberating for, for young people to be able to write in their, in their own tongue and for other people to be able to hear that. I think that it, 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 it reminds us again that poems are, need to be heard and that we then hear poems in a whole variety of different tongues of different languages and particularly now it seems to me really really important that we value diversity of voices and diversity of language. Scotland is multi-tongued, it is multi-ethnic, it is diverse and it's really important that, that, we, that, we, that we recognise that and we have fun with it. Poetry is often a really really brilliant way of people first of all uh, learning a language and it, it, it allows people to first of all write because you don't need to you don't necessarily need complex language for a poem it allows people to use repetitions, to use syntax, to use rhyme and to use meter in all sorts of interesting ways. And poetry, I think for young children particularly, language is something that you can play with, you experiment with, and to have your own tongue properly valued and for other, your other classmates to be hearing phrases in your own language, your repetitions, things that you, that you really love the sound of is, is really important. It's important we remember how playful language is for children. I know that um, Mother Tongue and Other Tongues um, was first inspired by a venture at Manchester Metropolitan University and um, with the Poet Laureate uh, Carol Ann Dudley and her colleagues and it seems to me lovely that we're doing something similar up here in Scotland and uh, I can't wait to have the chance, um, as, as, as she had the chance in England, to hear um, the kids perform their poems live and to be able to, to, to witness that. I think that will be great fun and I'm really looking forward to being there and to hearing the poems. So far I've been very touched to see a lot of the poems on the website and I've been touched at how many different languages, I think 35 languages, um, been involved and how many and uh, including sign language and I think that, it's, that, that to me is, is exciting a range of voices when I wrote my poem for opening poem for the Scottish Parliament it was important to me to have some verses that could be translated into other languages it takes more than one tongue to tell a story there's a line in the poem and so far we've had 42 different languages at the Scottish Poetry Library website contribute. It'd be lovely if some of the kids want to go on to the site and contribute more languages to that poem which is called Threshold. But poems are evolving, like language is evolving and I love the idea of, of, every, of, of poems telling the story, the complex story of our lives.